Ambassador Hashim Dijani, um, former political prisoners led by Comrade Mpo, and your comrades as well, Comrade Nishan Bolton from the Ahmed Kathrada Foundation, uh, leaders of different political parties if they are here, Comrade Dani from other solidarity organizations as well. Different comrades from different organizations. I don't want to leave anybody out as well. Bombe Barona as well. Uh, they must be recognized as well. And I know a lot of you travel from far. It wouldn't have been an easy uh, trip. Also taking age into consideration as well. And that must also be noted. As comrade uh, Hasuna said, my name is Kwara Kekana. I'm from the Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions Movement against Israel in South Africa, also known as BDS. Uh, a lot of you have actually participated in, and I want to talk about the particular campaign because it's very relevant to the political prisoner situation. In, I think it was 2014, if I'm not mistaken. So the G4S campaign started in 2007 internationally. G4S is a security company that's involved in the prison systems, the torture centers, and detention facilities that house Palestinian political prisoners. Now sometime in 2013, 2014, there was a global call to have coordinated actions um, all over the world, particularly um, to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, because they had about two billion rands of stock in G4S. Now, as you know, the, the idea behind divestment campaigns is that we must make it costly for companies that are complicit in human rights violations uh, to operate. And that was the, the action towards the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. There are a lot of you that are here today were actually part of that campaign and that particular action in 2013, 2014. I just can't remember the date. So in, tw in 2007, when the, the global call for the campaign was called by Palestinians to particularly focus on G4S because of its involvement in the prison system, torture centers, and detention facilities. Uh, so, so since 2007 and the targeted campaign against G4S, there have been a lot of victories. And after that particular action that happened at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation uh, in Rosebank that most of you were part of, the Bill and Melinda Gaines Foundation, I think within two weeks of the action, dumped all their stock and sold all their stock mm -hmm. because of G4's involvement in the prison systems, mm -hmm. the torture centers and detention facilities at the time. And of course, also many other campaigns that, as well that were led by comrades uh, from the, the different BDS chapters all over the world, such as the comrades in Britain, for example, going to the AGM of G4S and disrupting the AGM of G4S and saying that you can't continue to profit from the Israeli occupation and you can't continue to profit from the suffering of Palestinians. In March this year, G4S announced that it will be leaving the Israeli market because of efforts of the BDS campaign globally. They're basically, say, basically saying that it has become too costly for them to operate uh, in Israel. And that is the victory I think all of us must collectively own as well, and not just um, comrades from elsewhere in the world. But I think the message is really that through coordinated actions, through collective efforts, and practical solidarity efforts on the ground. Uh, we can register solid victories. And as young people, we learn a lot from you. We interact with a lot of you, uh, Comrade Chad. I mean, I, every time that we interact, I mean, I learn a lot from you. And through also attending different events that comrades speak about some of the, some of the things that happened to them during the struggle for apartheid in this country. And how isolation campaign successfully isolated South Africa because of its apartheid policies. And if some of you were following the Olympics as well, we saw different athletes from different countries saying that they're refusing to play with Israeli athletes because they, in essence, are ambassadors of an apartheid state. And those are the form of practical solidarity efforts that a lot of us have participated in. But a lot of us also, are, we're benefiting because today we live in a democratic country because of so, such efforts. And the BDS campaign against Israel is attempting to do the same. And day by day, we're registering small victories at a time, some of course bigger victories also. And here in this little paper bag, but of course I mean the spirit is bigger than the bag. <laughs> so it's a, it's a scarf that's signed by former political prisoners and if you haven't signed, please just attach your signature here as well. And this will be presented to comrades in Palestine as well. Uh, there's also a t-shirt with Nelson Mandela's prison number 46664 that will also be presented to comrades, of course, in a more tasteful manner, <laughs> in a plaque of sorts. So we really want comrades to attach signatures to this and then we'll also put them in a nice frame and they'll be handed over to comrades in Palestine. And this is really just a token of 
a celebration of their resistance, their strength, and their resi resilience. You know, Ambassador, um, Am Ambassador Hafiz Nofal used to say that, I don't know how diplomatic this is, but he used to say that uh, a lot of things are made in China. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but really, courage and bravery is made in Palestine. Resilience is made in Palestine. The kind of, you know, the things that happen to Palestinians every day, but you still wake up and you resist the occupation. And I was saying to Bafiq, now as I come here, I'm like, oh, there's food here. You know, Palestinians, they could be going through the worst of conditions, but they will feed you. <laughs> so so it's, I think the generosity of the Palestinian people, the warmth of the Palestinian people, and I think that's what pushes you through all the time, to resist the occupation and to fight every single day. So this is a token of our, of our celebration of your spirit, Ambassador, to you and your people. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's significant. Just I don't know where people signed. It's signed. Oh, they? Yes, it's signed by by all our uh, comrades. <laughs> uh, like this, huh? Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah. 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 And this is the T-shirt of uh, Nelson Mandela, the prison uh, number mm. four six four double six six four. Yeah. Double six four. Yeah. Amanda. Amanda. Thank you very much, comrades. Mandla.